How's it going? What's up and what's happening there? Bless of beautiful souls. Kiara Ducas here today with the Crypto Bliss Show. Again, I'm here making things happen for you. So give me a thumb, I mean, uh, knuckles up there, guys. Fist pump. I love you all very much. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, today, I'm here at the practice and I've got a few patients in between. So I'm just trying to do videos here and there in between. And um, yeah, I will be probably... I've got a few videos lined up for you guys for the weekend, but it's my birthday on Sunday. So um, maybe in the Sunday evening, I'll do an, a little special for you guys. But uh, yeah, today in this video, we are going to be exploring a lot of stuff, especially around the US banks and the US banking sector. So let us go and have a look there and what's happening there in the charts today. Okay. So thanks for being here with me today, guys. Today is obviously non-farm payrolls. I have been warning you guys for a week now. I do mention this every uh, month to you guys as well, that non-farm payrolls takes place on Fridays, first Friday of every month. It's the biggest market mover out there besides for the Federal Reserve, Reserve interest rates, although those things are often priced in, whereas the non-farm payrolls are not. And non often on a non-farm payrolls, you'll see a huge wick to both sides and then the dust settles and then it chooses a direction. So be patient and wait for the chart to tell you a direction. Don't get stopped out of your trades. And um, yeah, if you guys want to trade with me, make sure to hit that um, that Bybit link down below and you can get yourself up to a $30,000 deposit link. So I did a video here to tell you how to make more and more and more and more and more crypto over time. And uh, this video here I did for you guys on Gala. I've got some cool stuff happening, but Gala is going to be absolutely powerful, guys. So make sure not to miss out on Gala. No financial advice. Let's not waste any time, any more time in the video. Today's crypto market cap currently sitting at 1.244 trillion. So it's down about 15 billion from yesterday. The trading volume has been sliced in half as well. From my previous video bitcoin is still holding above twenty nine thousand. ethereum is under 1900 bnb is at 325 ripple 46 cardano 38 so there's not much change in the market guys 7.8 cents polygon 99 cents solana 21.84 i actually um thanks to my brother he he basically gave me some cash and i essentially bought um some more solana with that so thanks a ton appreciate that and uh yeah so i basically dca'd into some more solana this morning i bought me a couple more then polka dot is at 577 litecoin 8782 shiba is under the thousand mark again avalanche my gosh avalanche is looking more and more juicy every day um 533 for uni chain link is 705 and cosmos 1105 1107 so okay not much change it's boring right it's absolutely boring guys to be very very honest with you i don't know what the fuck is going on with this thing okay honestly i do not know how people can continue to be trading that but i get it because it's you can make money and you can basically take money from other people but it's a project that doesn't have my, uh, much liquidity in it. And I spoke about this yesterday on my video over here. So be very cautious trading that, please, guys. Um, and as you can see, it's one of the only bubbles and it's an extreme bubble. And this is the against Bitcoin on top of it. So yeah, I don't think it's going to last forever, guys. So make sure to protect yourselves, okay, if you are trading it. Now, the Fear and Greed Index is sitting at 61. It's down a couple of points from yesterday. Not much real difference in update there. And then Market Watch. So yesterday we had um, US productivity go way down. US labor costs go down, um, which was a good thing. And then trade deficit is, has gone down as well. And initial jobless claims has gone up. So for me, guys, they've got a target of 180 from that target over here. I mean, they're ridiculous. So we know what they're trying to do here. This is called manipulation, essentially. So if this even gets 181, it won't necessarily pump the market to the moon, but it'll make the market pump. So what you actually want to see in order for our risk of assets to pump is for this number to come in higher, much higher, okay? Um, oh, sorry, much lower. And if this comes in lower, then our risk of assets will pump. If it comes in higher, our risk assets will dump. So the same thing with the unemployment rate. The unemployment rate is 
apparently increased by 0.1% according to them. So if unemployment goes up to 3.7 as an example, it will make the market absolutely dump and our risk assets pump. It'll make the Dixie dump, okay? Uh, when I say the market, I mean Dixie mostly uh, because obviously the Dixie is a balance of everything on the other side. It's a trial balance, isn't it? So US hourly wages and yeah, so there's a few things to come out today. So let's just be patient and wait for what the what is about to happen. Now, I wanted to share something with you. So Bitcoin drops with stocks analyst warning of banking crisis in game. So make sure to stay right here till the end of this video. And I'm going to show you a few charts that points out a number of different things here. So I just want to go and show you something. So too much all at once for US banks. So just want to very much cut a very long story short. Within the last 24 hours, we've seen PacWest Bank um, explore a potential sale. We've seen Western Alliance Bank exploring a potential sale. First Horizon Bank uh, cancels merger with TD Bank due to regulatory concerns. And the Fed says banking system is sound. So we know that the Fed is lying to us and it might only be sound for your big banks like JP Morgan, etc. But at the end of the day, for the little banks and the regional banks, they are absolutely being crushed right now. And I'm going to show you that in the charts, guys, because if the little banks get crushed, there are a, there's very few places to go and put your money. And often, you know, wealth does trust bigger banks, essentially, but the rates at bigger banks are sometimes often a little bit smaller because smaller banks are trying to make bring more customers in so they'll generally give a higher yield so there's no comment from Cobasi letter i don't even know who that is so forgive me for that if you do let me know down in the comments below the fed rate hike is only making things worse as each domino falls the next weakest bank begins to wobble until investors are rewarded for betting on a wobbling bank there will be no bid and the best sale is the last price we are running out of time to fix this problem I find it hard to believe that there is anything uh, that there is anything that can be done to restore confidence in the system. No amount of backstopping, money printing, buybacks, consolidation, or world wars will be able to put this genie back in the bottle. The Fed and the Treasury will try their best, their hardest, to make the public believe otherwise. But this is simply too much all at once. And I agree with them. And I've been saying this for some time, guys. I think we're we're at an extremely extremely volatile space in the market today so yeah don't get don't get a fright but just know that we are at a very very critical point and a lot of people are running for bitcoin okay so mm, let's close up all of these for now remember to like and subscribe my channel guys and i will go and start off with the dixie now i'm going to start off with the dixie on the four hour um on the four hour time frame right here okay just so that we get a clear picture of where we are because essentially since we came into this range we've been ranging really in this range so we might range in this range a little bit more um we could essentially pull back up even here and pull back down i mean it could go wild guys i don't know but essentially we made a drop we broke through this level and we pulled back and we found that we um, hit resistance and now we're breaking down from that resistance so if we break this zone we'll come and test this bottom of the purple box and if we break the bottom of the purple box hasta la vista baby even if it just wicks down okay i'm sure we will see but what you want to see is a candle close below this box then that's the dollar done it's going down and nothing will stop that dollar from going down which is great essentially for us so bitcoin dominance let's go and have a look here what we're seeing in Bitcoin dominance. Okay, so this is the weekly chart. Let's go down to the daily chart. Uh, so on the daily chart, we are seeing a bit more of a buy on Bitcoin. So you can see that right now. And we're actually also in this little zone, but we pretty much retesting this this level here so it almost looks as though we're seemingly wanting to get out of this zone so you always have to constantly be updating your trends and your lines etc so that you guys can make sure that when that when they pump that it makes sense so very honestly the purple box is probably a very good zone so let me just delete this area for you purple box is that zone we found support here 
we broke up, we found support, and it looks like we're about to break up even more. So that could be very interesting because that'll bring a lot of money into crypto. And essentially here, you can see on the total crypto cap on the four hour, we are also kind of, we, we've broken out of this trend line and we pulled back, found some support and we're trying to break up, but I've drawn this next line here because there is still resistance at this zone because of this horizontal area right here. You can see a lot of um, resistance at that area. So let's go and see the Bitcoin price now. And let's see what the Bitcoin price has got in store for us today. Um, and essentially we want to go down to the four hour and we are over here so guys might this zone here might actually not be invalidated and i say that because even though we we're oversold on the rsi over here and we're at a level of resistance we could essentially break back down somewhere to this zone and we could essentially trade within this symmetrical triangle up until mid-may so if that is the case that's okay then we just know that there's bitcoin becomes boring but Essentially, we want to be breaking out of this zone and this zone clearly over there. Now, the S&P fell on its ass yesterday. Okay. Let's have a look here. Okay. Yesterday, boom, sell signal. Guess what happened? Boom, crashed. Okay. I believe that we're probably coming down to this zone over here. So let us draw a little circle. And let's just say that that's probably where we'll get to you before we see anything if we break this trend line hasta la vista we're coming down to the bottom here at 3500 if we bounce off here and hit here there's a little bit more of a rally which is exciting which is great but yeah at the end of the day it's not going to do much for us i want to delete these lines for us now so that there is a lot more clarity and we can see what's going on there in the zone the same thing has happened for the nasdaq as well so the nasdaq on the four hour has also done the same thing so we didn't quite reach my zone there we did but we didn't okay up here you can see it was a couple hundred 200 points away from it um but yes we've basically had a confirmed sell signal and we have basically had a sell signal here on the rsi so essentially you should have known to sell right there look you would be in profits right now and the same thing, I think that our zone is probably coming down to this area, which means we would have broken this neckline, which is almost like a head and shoulders, but not quite. Um, even an M pattern, not quite an M pattern either, but yeah, more, more along the lines of a head and shoulders. So Ethereum is looking absolutely juicy. Ethereum has basically retested. It's found support and it's now got a double bottom zone here, if I can show you quickly. So here's, here's the one bottom clone, and then here's the other bottom, of course. So that's a double bottom. And then on top of it, you also have a W pattern that is forming, and this box happens to be the neckline. So if that is the case and we do break out, obviously the next level is um, is this zone over here. So yeah if you guys are trading then that will be your next zone so you can once it breaks this line you can take a pro you can take a, a trade and let's show you quickly so if it breaks this zone you want to be able uh sorry you want to be able to take a trade from there all the way to there and basically your risk your stop loss would fall under there so your stop loss is 1.49 so um your risk to reward ratio is a 7.3 so it's a 10 11 percent move there guys that's a pretty darn good move okay so make sure that when this moves you're getting into it and if it pulls back a little bit okay just enter just make sure that your positions are strong no financial advice or trading advice here i'm just sharing with you what the potential is and what i may do gold has been coming down uh today on the daily time frame uh on the on the hourly time frame and we're kind of hitting this little zone of support so you can see i had a strong uptrend here it broke that this morning and i've now placed another level of support there um, which it's currently holding but um, we'll have to see what it does there 
it is looking oversold it is a good place to buy and you can see there there is a strong level of support there so we may be heading up there now guys for the interesting thing here let's go and have a look at this okay so i want to show you four charts now these are all from different sides okay so this is the us banks okay there's not much data on this okay but you can see right now we have been trading here within kind of this this zone here we are coming to a point if we break this zone there is a very very long way down for the banks okay um, essentially down to this zone but you can see that this chart only gives us till from the 20 kind of the end of november 2020 so i want to go and show you another chart that is similar that has almost the same kind of time frame but the thing is is that if we look at where this chart is it'll tell us the banks are fucked okay absolutely smashed so huge level of resistance there um, we broke down we retested and we broke down again um, so for me the next zone of support is down here essentially and that from there to currently is still another 20 18 percent to 20 percent drop to this zone of support now i'm going to say something to you guys that let's go and have a look at the other charts that can give us a little bit more information now this is the weekly so it's it's giving you see it says all but it's not all because we definitely don't we you know we need a chart that goes beyond this so you can see what's happened here all along here now let's go and have a look at what happened here at uh, c19 okay we smashed what we were hitting this level on the the moving average support 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 couldn't we couldn't hold it and we try to break up and fake out and drop hard okay then we bought and then they started to print money like crazy boom and then that's what happened now check at this support 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 couldn't get out and what happened we dropped hard okay so what this is indicating to us right now is that yes it's coming up to a zone of support over here and essentially over here all of this okay but what i want to say to you is that um if this is dropping down to this level this is even worse than 21 okay and the banks are heading for an absolutely dramatic crash if the fed does not step in very soon stop raising interest rates and even lowers interest rates and then starts to print money again then we'll start to see something like this and then a shoot back up but I, my personal view is that the the fed has lost the banks have lost the banks have to reset the only way for it to do that is for the fed to just let the banks go crushed and the strongest will survive so i have to go and show you this now is a very similar chart um, uh, I want all and I want weekly okay so you can see you because just that it medians the line a lot easier now the same thing is happening here I just want to go and show you the MACD and what happened on the MACD at this point so the MACD had crossed down and then it started to pull back up. look at the look at where it's pulling back up so now right now the macd is pulling down but i don't think we've actually had the pull that we need down to basically reset the markets so for me we could essentially come a lot lower and this is a stock ticker for the dow jones us banks index so we're already down 3.18 percent today or yesterday um, and i do believe that it could essentially come down even further guys <sighs> I don't know what to say but this chart tells us that there is something massive massive coming for us um, especially for the u.s banks and the u.s banking economy okay so we failed it's time for a collapse and essentially this is the zone that we're going to be looking at for some support here so let's see what happens but yeah hold thumbs make sure that you've got cash on the side your white powder and you're ready to invest when these things continue to drop even more it might affect the the um it might affect us in crypto but actually i just want to go and see just give me a moment um let's go and see for us the u.s banks um what did i want the u.s 
I want you to see the US banks again, uh, sorry, the SP, uh, SPX, BTC. Uh, do we have anything like that? No. No. Okay. Okay. So I just let's go rather back to the S and P and let's go on to the daily time frame. So on the daily time frame, you can see this is what's the pattern here. If we go and look at Bitcoin on the daily time frame, okay, the pattern is very different, which means that we've been decoupling from this. Okay, so yes, the S and P's supported this, but we've been decoupling. Okay, and you can see that quite clearly. So thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.